Welcome back, everyone. This is Hypernova30, and I'm here for another episode of this, uh, this Let's Play. So, I've noticed a small problem, is that when this thing's done smelting tin, and there's iron there, it won't smelt the iron because the tin's still left. So, I'm going to have to hook up a little another system, but I don't want to put it in the room, because I want more machines here. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this pipe back here. You're thinking, how that's going to... that's just going to hurt my system, isn't it? No, well, you'll see. Great. So that leaves this back kind of open. I'll place an, an, another engine right here. Grab another wooden pipe. Actually, I can replace this redstone torch here. If I'm, if I'm smart, I can place it between these two engines to power them both at the same time. Just, you know, saving a bit of resources. Shoot. I think that wooden pipe there will connect with that cobblestone one up there. So I'm actually going to need to reroute this even higher. I'm going to take... Eh. 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 Ooh. Gold. That's gold dust. Sweet. Anyway, I'm going to put a wooden transport pipe back here. And I'll just place a single piece of cobblestone transport pipe here. Shoot. See, I want more machines down here, so I'm going to have to run that farther. But for now, I'm just going to grab myself an iron chest. Yes, I'm going to start with iron chest. And I, I brought it up like a lot of episodes way back, but I never got to it because back then I didn't have my macerator. Wow, I didn't have my macerator. That must have been a long time ago that I talked about iron chests. Still haven't done it. Still using vanilla chests. So, for that, you craft a normal chest, and just the craziest recipe ever, you coat it in iron. Where did the iron go? I swear I had a bunch of iron. I put in here? Yeah, so I, I went and processed a lot of my iron uh, between episodes. So, ding, we get an iron chest. And you can see, this iron chest is tiny, yet it still has the same space as a large chest. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and place it down right here. And now everything that comes out of that pipe will just end up in here. I can put some more dusts in here. It looks like we got a nice little uh, little system going on. We're processing our ores quite efficiently. And now you see I don't have to dump everything in, I could just put everything I want in this hopper, and it will get processed and come out in this chest as ingots. So hopefully pretty soon we'll be getting gold in this chest, because I did see a bunch of gold dust. <laughs> Iron, gold, silver, what's this? Oh, different type of silver. Can this be used for the same? Yay, forge or dictionary. If you're wondering what that is, it's a little thing that helps... Um... Oh, how do I explain this? It makes every single type of silver work as each other in the recipe. So if one, two mods add silver, I only need to have one type of silver enabled, and all the other mods will use that silver. So it looks like lead cannot be macerated, so I'll put lead, keep lead in there. Uh, any other ores that I want to... Aluminum. That can be smelted and just, yeah, just smelted. I might as well grab it and put it in the smelted chest. More aluminum. Feroz ore, can that... Ooh, it can be pulverized but not macerated. That's too bad. A pulverizer is just a different type of macerator. It uses buildcraft energy, which is those engines back there, but there's different types of engines. Some are far more powerful than others, and you'd, you'd use a more powerful engine. So over in this... Ooh, didn't want to do that. So I'll dump... Dang it, there's no more room. And aluminum just gets... No, that's silver. Aluminum just gets straight up smelted. So I'll place it in that chest. I think I'm stuck. 
Ah. Ugh, there we go. I'm out. And actually, we're going to run sort of energy soon. So I'm going to grab these cells and head back to that lava lake. Oh, wow. This tree thing worked. I should start chopping Ooh. soon. Anyway, just come down here and just, you know, take all the lava. I think I'll empty this side right here. Come on, one of you is a source block. Okay, that's good. 14 more lava cells, and that should work nice. Lee. You know, I know I have a front door, and I haven't used it at all. <laughs> it just kind of sits there looking pretty. There we go. Plenty of lava to produce. Energy with Plenty of stuff to smelt. And you can see this chest is getting filled up. Oh, and there's room now for this extra silver. Now that the tin has gone in. Yeah, so this episode, I'm not quite sure what I should do. I don't know. I mean, I fixed up that system back there. What else should I do? Red power, maybe? Sure, let's start red power. I'm just gonna... Do I wanna... I mean, I have a bunch of nickelite. Why not? Oh, but I don't have clay. Sorry, you guys have no idea what I'm saying, do you? No, I'm talking about the different materials required for each mod, and I'm just d debating on what I should start with. See, I already did IC2, and build craft and red power the other two mods that I might want to start with. Hmm. You know what? I'll just have this be a short episode. Sorry, this was a short episode. I know. I'm gonna have really short episodes. But, anyway, guys, this was Hypernova 30. This was episode... 7? Don't hate me if I'm wrong. I, I have no idea. I record a bunch of these at the same time, and then just upload them. In fact, that should help me memorize them. Okay, well, this was episode X. I'm just going to use X because I don't know. And uh, this was Hypernova30. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.